The letters Alif, Lam, Mim, these are the letters of the Arabic alphabets. They call it Huruf Muqatta'a. There is no need to interpret this to any other meanings. These Muqatta'a letters can be found at the beginning of a total of 29 surahs. As most Arabs of that time were illiterate, this is an encouragement for them to learn how to read and write. For those who know how to write but remain as rebellious disbelievers, they should come to the realization that this Quran was not written by an illiterate man growing up in a remote desert. Ralika Al-Kitab, that book, that and not this. Either it is pointing to a book that is far in the Lauh Mahfuz in the heavens, or it is elevating the Quran that is in a far higher and superior status. The book and not the citation. Combining the mentioning of Arabic letters and mentioning of book, we tend to understand that words in books are where knowledge grow. A knowledgeable person is higher in status compared to an ignorant person. This is an encouragement to seek knowledge. La roi bafi. The Quran confidently saying no doubt in it. If you don't understand some passages in the Quran, it is because you lack of knowledge and understanding. It is not because there are tops in the Quran. Hudal lil muttaqin. Guidance to the God consciousness or the muttaqin. Guidance, huda or hidayah, means for people who have hearts that are looking for truth and security in the afterlife. People who are carefree and not using their mind to think about reality will be oblivious of seeking guidance from the Quran. Allazina, those who yu'minuna, belief, bil ghaibi, the unseen, with b is with al ghaibi, the unseen. The believers who genuinely believe in the existence of the unseen God, the angels, jinns, heaven and hell, wa yuqimuna salah, will obediently perform the daily prayers, wa mimma razaqonahum, and out of what we have provided them, razaqonahum, whom is them, the pronoun them. Yun fiko they spend and consistently spending their wealth in charity. These are the two criteria of being people of muttaqin, salah and yun fikun. We have provided them. Allah provides men with the daily sustenance and provision so that they become charitable since those items, example money, actually comes directly from Allah even though visually it is as if your employer or your hard work is the one that gain you monetary reward. The unseen world of risk being given to us by the creator of risk. Walazina and those who yukminuna believe bima what unzila was sent down. Ilaika to you ka. Ila and ka together become ilaika to you ka. The pronoun ka. Attached pronoun, objective pronoun. Wa ma wa and ma what unzila was sent down. Mean from Qabalika, before you. Qabali, you, ka. Wabil akhirati and the hereafter, whom they, you, kinun, firmly believe. Believe in the revelations from past messengers and believing in the current revelation given to the last messenger for mankind. There is no mention of believing in the revelations after Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. There is none. In another surah, the Prophet ﷺ is clearly mentioned as the seal of all the prophets and messengers. Past revelations have expired and no longer applicable. The current revelation is applicable to the end of times as there will be no more revelations after it. The Muttaqin, Yukinun, firmly believe. The Muttaqin are super convinced of the truthfulness of the current revelation and the truthfulness of the messenger that convey it. All this you is referring to the messenger. Believing that a powerful almighty being creates everything is quite simple for the average man. However, believing that the scriptures are actual speeches of God and the messengers are in direct contact with the divine takes another level of deep certainty and belief as what the muttaqin has achieved. They totally believe that following the revelation and the teachings of the Prophet wasallam will keep them safe after death. Ula ika dos ala hudan on guidance. Min from Rob be him. Rob the Lord, him is them. Only the Muttaqin having hearts that are guided by the Divine Master. Wa ula ika humul muflihun. And those, they are the successful ones.
Only the Mutaqin are genuinely successful in the internal life of the after, as compared to the fake or short-lived success of people chasing wealth and fame in this temporary, brief, humanly world. Inna, indeed, alazina dosho, kafaru disbelief. This is a verb. Wow indicates plurality, meaning many disbelieve or rebel against the truth. Many bury the truth inside their fitrah when the roh is created. In previous ayah, Allah mentioned the believers. In this ayah, Allah introduced the kafirun, the disbelievers or those who buried their fitrah. Sawaun, the same. Alayhim, Allah plus whom becomes alayhim to them or on them. This a is a question, meaning whether or either. Anzarta, you want whom, them. This pronoun whom, attached pronoun. Whether you want them, amlam or not. Tunzir. You want them, whom is a pronoun, them. La, not, yu'minun. They will not believe. Anzarta, this star indicates past tense verb. Meaning, this star indicates you, which is the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. After many, many years of preaching to the same people, Allah informed the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that they will never believe or recover back the bad truth in their fitrah. Khatama, Allah has set the seal. Allah on their hearts. Kulu bi, this is hearts. Him is again pronoun. Their hearts. This is possessive attached pronoun. This pronoun is attached to this noun in the possessive meaning. Their hearts. Wa and Allah on some e hearing him there. Again, possessive attached pronoun. Their hearts, their hearing. Not this one. Them, this them. This is again whom, them. This is dia. Wa an ala absorhim. Again possessive pronoun. Dia vision. Rishawa veil. Wa an la for whom them. Azabun punishment. Azim. Great. Once the heart is sealed, whether they hear or see of the existence of the oneness of Almighty God without any associated partners in His power and courtship, it is of no use preaching to them. These people has completely covered their hearts with so much hatred and the unwillingness to submit to God. Hence, Allah provide them with a padlock sealing their hearts and hearing of the reminders. They see creations of Allah every day, but they have blocked themselves from connecting the creations to the Creator. Were they given time to ponder about what the Prophet ﷺ was preaching? Yes, the reminders were given daily for 13 years in Makkah by the Prophet ﷺ himself. And finally, they have upgraded their hostility towards him at the worst level. Are we supposed to stop preaching altogether with this ayat? No, because we have not preached to the same group of people for 13 long years as what the Prophet ﷺ did. Those who willingly accept their heart to be sealed will be given an azabun azim, great torment or punishment. Aminan nasi, and this is min, from. But when John with, with the word anas, with the Hamza wasal in between, there is a fatha on top, minan. The original word is min, sukun, min. And of the people, nas, man, who, yakulu, say, amanna. We believe. Na is a present the we. It's a pronoun inside the verb. Billahi. We is in or with. Allahi. And why is it not Allaha or Allahu or Allahi? It is because of this letter B. The harfu jar that causes the end of the vowel to become kasra bilu. Wa bil yawmi. And the day. Al-akhir. The last. Means the hereafter. Wa ma and not. Whom. De bi mu'minin. They as uh, the believers. Previous ayah is about the kafirun. This ayah is talking about another group of people, the munafikun, the pretenders or hypocrites. Their appearance and speeches showed that they are believers, but in reality, they did not truly believe in their hearts. Aminan nasi, among the people. Allah is not associating them as among the believers, people of iman. They say, we believe in Allah and the day and the last day, indicating that they will do religious activities together with the believers, even though they despise or not that interested in doing. Example, setting time to go for Friday prayer, a whole month of fasting, 2.5% of your wealth goes to charity, etc. etc. These are rituals that the hearts of Munafikun will cringe.
Up to this ayah, we learn that Allah has mentioned three types of people. One, the muttaqin, true believers and their characteristics. Two, the kafirun, the rebellious disbelievers and their characteristics, which is in the makan phase of the Prophet Wasallam life. And lastly, the munafikun, the pretenders hypocrites, with their seemingly innocent speeches, which is in the madina phase of the Prophet Wasallam life. The characteristics of the munafikun is further described in the next ayah since it is a complicated hidden behavior when compared to the openly characteristics of the kafirun. Yukhadi'oon Allah, they seek to deceive Allah. And alazi, those who amanu, believe. Amanu is actually past tense with the wow, eh? plural. This is a verb means plural for those who believed. Wama and not yakhda'oon, they deceive illa except anfusahum self them whom is them so themselves wama and not yash'urun they realize they try to deceive Allah and those who believe people with iman by their mockery behind the backs of the Muslims but Allah is all aware without them realizing they were actually deceiving themselves of the reality what being alive is all about they thought that being alive is all about this worldly life and pretended to be like the believers since Madinah is swarmed with believers after the Prophet Wasallam arrival, Allah is saying that Allah is aware but they themselves are not aware of being deceived by their own character. The last ayah, Fi in kulubihim, kulubi, bi, this below kasra is because of the word fi that makes the kasra here, kulubi, him, their, so their hearts, marat, marat disease. Marat sickness in the heart that a medical doctor or surgeon is unable to cure or operate on. Not a physical sickness but a spiritual sickness that they themselves have opened up for the sickness to creep in and not to fight back. Since they have decided not to fight back this sickness and in fact enjoying it, hence Allah increased the sickness to go deep. Hazadahum so has increased them by Allah. Allah has increased them which is the disease. Allah has increased the disease. As a word by word translation, you need to rephrase the English language. Walahum azabun alim. In the hereafter, they, the munafikun, will receive azabun alim, painful punishment, which is not the same as azabun azim in the previous ayah. Great punishment meant for the kafirun. What is the difference? Azabun azim is like punishments that have varying degrees of pain, up and down. Azabun alim, punishment with pain that is constantly high. The punishment for the munafikun is harsher than the kafirun since they are a more dangerous group that can destroy the religion and the Muslim ummah from within. Imakanu yakribun, because of what they used to lie. We can see many deviant teachings in the Muslim ummah and how the Muslims are divided when they are subjected to the poison by groups of the munafikun hidden within the Muslims. The discussion on monophic characteristics will continue out of his mercy. He spends more ayat on the monophic issue to let us recognize and fight back this sickness creeping into our hearts. Allah the Great has spoken the truth. Allahu A'lam.